Okay, earlier this morning I had a really good five location run. I just got really stuck up on remembering where the heck I was starting and trying to recover back to that at one point. Hopefully I could do better for this run. Um, this time I'm not going to challenge myself to not looking up any information. I want to see if I can play this one fairly quickly, uh, minimizing time looking on a map for where a city might be or something like that. Uh, and I will use Google for looking up anything that I need to find as much as I can. Okay, we are starting off at the towns, looking at the town center. on the corner of North something access and something street southwest. So we are surrounded by foothills. So we're likely in Alberta or British Columbia. Surrounded by the hills could probably be in Okay, but we're near a major intersection of something here, and we see some big signs elsewhere. So, this really won't take too much. Um, what are the markings for the road? Let's go north here and then spin around where these signs are and see what this says. Prince George Dawson Creek. That I'm pretty sure we could find on just very quickly. There's Dawson Creek. Where's Prince George? George. So we're somewhere on the 97. And the junction number is crossed out. Why would they blur that, Google? Why would you do that? So what was that? Uh, Tumblr Ridge is west Actually, the intersection we're at right now, that is an east and west for this. Which likely means we're in one of these little stretches here. South Access Road, North Access Road. If we get 
more information and just see if this is where we are facing. Street. Bingo. So we were on. Oh, but we were on the north access. Yeah, we were at North Access Road. So we were. We were starting right here. Entrance ramp area, so we're right, right there to start with. 20 meters away from where we actually started. Okay. Quick find. That was an amazingly quick find. Okay, next up. We're at the end of a farmer's field, at the end of a road. That is not marked. With a sign, so it's probably marked with a signpost like there that says such and such turn. And of course, Google blurs it out. McCormick Road. Okay. So we're at the end of McCormick Road. We are on the south end of McCormick Road, wherever we are. Dead south end of McCormick Road. Okay. Do we go east or west? Or do we go north into where there's a community? If we go there, we might get lost trying to figure out once we get around where we were. If we travel the main highway here, we might find some signs to reference a lot faster. Okay, actually let's Take a look at some of these signs and see if there's info on here that will help. Five one nine. Okay, so we're in my area of the country. Westbury Farm is going north, going north, going north. Okay, that's going to be too long to get to. Third concession doesn't mean much other than we're out in the country area.
Okay, I'm going back to the other where we were starting, where it was a little bit bigger, major regional road. And I am going to head east. My gut tells me to head east. We are uh, basically somewhere in this region based on the 519 area code. further. We are in Essex. Okay, so 519 extends over further. This is Essex County down in, out, out in this area and down here I think even. So maybe 519 extends all the way over. Okay, Essex County And Essex has dozens of conservation regions, so Googling one of those wouldn't help. Okay, sign. Oh, other sign there too, let's go with that sign too. Isla Road, no help. Conservation Park area there, no help. Um, I want to know what road I'm on right now, guys. Come on, tell me. There should be a sign somewhere shortly after an intersection indicating what regional road we're on or what highway we're on. site there, eh? Premier Portable Buildings. I mean, they build, those are the guys who build them. They could be buying several from the company that builds them. This is an amazing part of the country to drive through in the, uh, in the early summer, once uh, planting is done and stuff like that, because it's a massive agricultural area. And kind of looks like what we're driving through right now on the pictures in late spring. Okay, intersections. Tell me something. Kingsville, Leamington, and Essex. Okay, which direction is that sign posted? And 
that is for is it for these people to see kind of looks like it Essex 20 Leamington and Kingsville that way okay Leamington is down here Point Peely area Leamington Kingsville this is the 20 okay and Harrow and the other other way and Conser Cedar Creek Conservation Area we went past so this is Arner that we're on right now. So we started back down here at the end of McCormick. Correct? Or was it the end of something else? Nope. Let's go with the end of McCormick. Okay, another remote country area. Well, if you throw a dart at Canada, you're going to hit remote country areas, I suppose. You're going to not hit the big cities as much. Okay, something tells me this is one of these photos that could probably be in the contest thing that says, uh, wherever you are right now, just zoom around and look around but don't move and you can figure out exactly where you are that looks like the kind of distance housing I saw traveling through parts of Newfoundland or Nova Scotia and that does appear to be probably ocean coast as opposed to lake Um, Long River, 20 and 262. And in fact, the soil almost looks, the ground looks very red. And I'm thinking PEI. Something to say they don't. Well, let's just PEI. Let's give it a go. Does PEI have a twenty and a? And we're north, so we'd be on the. at this end of the water. Well, there's a 20. Okay, and Okay, we had to move just a little bit to try to read those signs better, but basically I haven't even left this intersection yet. Irish Town Road. But what was that original sign there? It said 20 and 262. 20, So we're at Park Corner. Corner of Irish Street, right there. Bam. Look at that. Didn't even have to move. Off by 30 meters, but darn good. Okay. Beaver Creek. This 
It's one of those names. Farthest, nearest point of furthest edge of Canada as you can get to the west, almost. Only further place is a place called, like, Far, Far Point or something like that here. Anyways, okay, so we are facing north. We are next to the health station, perhaps. It's called. We don't really know, but let's try to find a reference point here for something. So a gas station. Buckshot Betty is right there, so we're back a bit. This looks like it would be the provincial or government stuff that we were near. It's a medical thing that had to be it. So I'd say we were, and I think we started just ahead of that property. And we were probably in the right hand lane, just to make sure we only lose a couple of points for that. Nine meters. Ken. This be a perfect game, especially with some of those so nice finds. Railroad track, good reference point. Car length or two away from the railroad track, right beside the telephone pole. So we have a starting point. But... Queen Street doesn't mean anything to us. Okay. Let's cross over the tracks and see what we see on signs here. New Brunswick Power. So we're in New Brunswick. We're heading northwest still. Western, actually, more west than northwest. And did we just hit the end? We did. Okay. Um, well, let's keep going kind of west and northwest right at the moment and see if we can see 
any community signs. Okay, we're getting out of that community. Let's go back there a bit. Actually, I don't think there's too many train tracks in New Brunswick at all. In fact, well, there could be. Not even sure. Oh, there's the border. Okay. I know there's a train that comes down in this area. That's part of the. Major train line that goes down to Halifax. this to be a quick one unfortunately I have a feeling this one is going to probably end up taking me a lot of time especially since I'm just so close to the perfect score as well St. Stephen Operations Center. That makes more of a reference. Okay, I am not going to spend time searching here because I have no idea where St. Stephen's would be. And it will probably take me a lot less time. Like I said, I'm going to cheat on this one. Find it on the map first, and then, okay, so we're right at the border between the United States and Canada there. Okay, so we go back to here. St. Stephen, okay. Now, where is the train? Train tracks right there. Okay, and I remember Queen Street being part of Pine. This was the area we started off in. Oh crap, what was the actual street we started on?
trying to find that starting point again. Oh. Okay. Tracks are right here. So we're not as far off as I thought we were from... Gosh, was this our starting point right here? Queen and Rose Street, maybe? Looks kind of familiar. We were a distance of a car away, but I think that that car was closer. I don't, yeah, Queen Street seems to where we started. So I think Queen Street didn't help anything at the beginning, is what I said. So this is my downfall in this stupid thing. My memory just fails out on where the heck did I start. Right, because we started heading west, northwest-ish. Forty-nine meters. Perfect score. Woohoo.